Hey, folks. How y'all doing? Good, good to hear. It's a beautiful day. I've never had this before. It's very interesting. Diet Moxie. I'm sorry that it's diet. Oh, that's okay. I, I've never really enjoyed non-diet soda. It's too sweet, and I get like a coating on the inside of my mouth. I don't know if you guys get that. Maybe not. I don't know. But it ruins it for me. But this is, this is very interesting. I like the word moxie. It's a word that hasn't been used anywhere outside of the entertainment industry for the past 60 years. And what I mean by that is it hasn't been used even in the entertainment industry in the last 60 years. But I, I, I know, you know, it's one of, there's still translations of it out there. You know, the, 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 what, what used to, you know, what, what, what you hear now as being like, you know, you're one of my favorite clients, man. I really believe in what you're doing. Used to be, stick with me, kid. You got moxie. You're going to go far. You want to see your name in lights? Um, and now it, it's just taken on a little bit more of a subtle tone, but uh, they'll still take your money. <laughs> uh, that one uh, does not go out into any particular manager I have had. <laughs> For those of you who are unfamiliar with my existence, well, now you are, but I meant before this. Um, uh, my name is Will Wood. I'm from around here. Uh, I was conceived in the autumn of 1992, despite the use of three forms of contraception. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I don't know what bothers me more, the fact that my uh, parents, like, were trying so hard to avoid my existence, or the fact that they still do, um, or the fact that they told me this. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, uh, autumn conception, it's a June birth, so, you know, uh, I'm a cancer, um, at least that's, that's what my parents tell me. <laughs> groans, I love it, I like that better than laughs, groans. It means I'm provocative. Um, you know, I get along perfectly well with my parents. It's, uh, it's just a joke. Uh, I mean, the last conversation we had didn't go over that great, but you know, that was years ago, so. <laughs> so, uh, m uh, most of these songs are about my uh, terrible uh, emotional instability and, um, what's the clinical term? Uh, uh, raging fucking narcissism. Um, so, uh, basically what I'm saying is most of these songs are about how I'm, I'm extremely full of myself, but also very depressed. So I spend a lot of time looking in the mirror going, man, if looks could kill, that'd be great. <laughs> At this point, I'm just stalling because I can't think of what song I want to play next. Some of you kept cats are familiar with my work. If you are and you want to hear a particular song, shout it out and I'll ignore you. I mean, shout it out and I might listen but I'll probably ignore you. I can't tell you how often somebody shouts out the name of a song, and it's never the song I want to play. It's always the song that I hate the most. It's called Dr. Sunshine is Dead. That's the one that I hate. Um, Don't play it. Thank you, bass Sleepy Kick. This song, a couple of, couple of people got that. All right, so, so this is a song uh, I wrote in uh, uh, 2011. God damn, I peaked long ago. Um, that uh, one of the many universities I had the pleasure of dropping out of was Binghamton University. And um, if any of y'all hep cats are looking for the hardest Saturday night in downtown Binghamton, New York, I know just the place. So here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna uh, make a left onto Court Street, pick up a little bag of K2, a little bit of spice from Sugar Mountain. You know that spot? You know that spot. And then you're gonna make a, a right onto, uh, uh, onto State Street. And then you're gonna make a left where two wrongs make a right, and then you're gonna wind your way down through the blood vessels of this pulsating, undulating hellhole of a city, and you're gonna wander your way down, hop, skip, and a jump away. That's not a good way to, to travel, but uh, a hop, skip, and a jump away from a little cul-de-sac where all the buildings jut out from the concrete like teeth with periodontal disease gums. And you're gonna walk up to that front stoop, how could you stoop so low? And you're gonna approach the threshold, kiss them, and then you're going to, uh, you're gonna present five women. If you don't present five women, they don't let you in. It's an alternative economy, but they make it work. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a nasty little hole in the wall. You need like a hole in the head. Holy shit, it's a rotten little place down on Front Street. <laughs> I'm in 
in a meat pack, play about it, they got a sight. A slaughterhouse apartment with a slice of lime. I'm cruising with the bruises, bruising on me, you're sued, I'm losing my mind. Because there's nothing I find. The faded stench of bad intentions hangs in the sweat. I'm in a sauna, hot with trauma, and I'm trying to forget how the masochistic rapture missed us. If an impulse has been let to your cut to the moon. You said let loose, but now you're lost. While I tie my boots like a tightrope noose The problem chased the taste of the cause And the evidence supports the truth Is 80 enough proof for you? Here's to my lady and I come inside Drink to me baby and what's left of its right It's easier to use a loose than ever to I've used you on a fight on Saturday night Good times on front street That's broken. New slipstick, <laughs> just look at the new, you go down. That's it, from your bottom to all the gold and hoping and drown. That's what you get for kicking your keyboard as part of your act. <laughs> <laughs> the sanity is sweet to me, the meat is still fresh. The national table master gave the us from the flesh. Says so nobody will tell me where this bad is, yeah, I see for myself. I'm for my go to hell. You said let loose, but now you're lost. While I tighten my boots like a tightrope noose The problem chased the taste of them guns And the evidence supports the truth There's plenty enough proof for you Here's to my lady and I come and decide Drink to my baby and what's left of my sight It's easier to use and lose than ever to I used you on a fire cloud Saturday night Good times on front story about this song, maybe fun for you, it wasn't at all fun for me. Um, so, uh, I, I, I had the pleasure of uh, being invited to, uh, what was it, WFMU, um, to do a little interview and spin some tracks with uh, a, a woman who ran a, uh, a polka show. It was exclusively polka, but they let me in. Um, and uh, I decided that I was going to do, uh, uh, play, play, I have a little bit of fun. Do a, I, I guess uh, maybe I've, I've uh, watched Man of the Moon too many times, got a little bit too interested in the Kaufman-esque side of public performance art. So I decided I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk into WFMU with the British accent and pretend I'm English the entire time and not, you know, never break. I'm not going to break, no matter what. And so then I went on the air and um, we had this interview and luckily nobody asked me where I was from because I don't know the names of any English places. <laughs> in England. Uh, legs. Worth. Um, and uh, and uh, then I, I was like, all right, let's... Uh, Let's spin some tunes. I don't know, maybe they don't say that in England. Spin some tunes. Um, they don't say that in America. What the fuck's wrong with me? Um, and um, and uh, I was like, I oh, know, this is the song I'm going to play. It's on it's, 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 um, Front Street, and uh, it's off my first record, Everything is a Lot. I've got CDs over there, by the way. That's always a little bit of sales pitch really quick. Um, and, um, and it started to play, and we were just, you know, shooting the shit. And, um, uh, it was, you know, the tunes were spinning, and, and then it got to the chorus, and then it got to another chorus, and then I realized that it dropped several F-bombs without uh, the station's knowledge. And then I went, wait, gosh, just turn it off, wait, hold on a second. And um, uh, she was like, oh, what's going on? What, what, what? She was like, oh, what's going on? Why did you stop? And I was like, oh, it's because uh, there's a couple of swear words in there may have gotten through and she was like, oh great, I'm looking forward to the $30,000 fine I'm going to receive from the FCC for that. So, um, we're not friends anymore, um, that, that uh, DJ and I, um, and uh, there I was, um, having potentially cost her thousands of dollars and ruined a, a big part of her life, um, and I was like, you know, I'm not even British, and... <laughs>
a drink Shot a man, come more right, let it go down the sink Front Street. Thank you.